Welcome to Ballotpedia's Daily Brew, your nonpartisan and unbiased source for political news. It's August 13th, 2024. Today we're taking a look at elections in two of the smaller states, Vermont and Wyoming. Vermont is holding primaries today for congressional, state executive, and state legislative offices. Currently, a Democrat represents Vermont's one at-large U.S. House district. Democrats have super majorities in both the state Senate and the state House. Vermont has had a divided government since 2017, with Democrats controlling both legislative chambers with supermajorities and Republicans controlling the office of governor. Since 1992, the state has had 10 years of Democratic trifectas and no Republican trifectas. Now let's talk about Wyoming, which has 54 contested state legislative primaries on August 20th, 2024, the most the state has had since at least 2010. There are 157 candidates running for 77 seats, 16 Democrats and 141 Republicans are running. That's the highest number of Republicans and the lowest number of Democrats since Ballotpedia started tracking. Wyoming has had a Republican trifecta since 2011. Since 1992, the state has had 22 years of Republican trifectas and no Democratic trifectas. The 2024 elections are taking place in the context of a conflict among, ho among House Republicans. While 57 of 62 House members are Republican, 26 vote with the Freedom Caucus, and 12 officially identify with the Freedom Caucus. Over the past two years, the Wyoming Freedom Caucus has supported legislation to lower taxes, increase Second Amendment rights, ban abortions, ensure the state has closed primaries, and prohibit certain medical procedures for minors. Because two-thirds of the chamber must approve measures for them to be included in the budget, the Freedom Caucus has sufficient numbers to block measures from being proposed in the budget. Other states with similar factional conflicts among Republican legislators include Texas, Ohio, and Tennessee. And finally, a look at Florida, where 11 candidates are running in the Republican primary for Miami-Dade County Sheriff. The position of sheriff has not been an elected office in the county since it was abolished in the 1960s. In 2018, voters approved Florida Amendment 10, which prohibited counties from abolishing certain local offices and required election for these offices. The Florida Constitution Revision Commission put the amendment on the ballot. It was approved 63.15 to 36.85%. This is the first election for sheriff in Miami-Dade County since that measure passed. And that's a wrap. For more information on any of today's news or to get it delivered to your inbox, click the link in our bio to subscribe and read online.